happened today? Lego Dimensions doing something different. Um, well, yeah. Just doing something different, you know? I haven't done anything in a while. Thought this would be a great opportunity to do something new and Lego, because that's what you all like for me. That's what my channel is mostly, blah, mostly based upon. Uh, so I wanted to start off with, uh, I guess we'll start off with the Spider and Gollum fun pack. Uh, so we'll start off with the bases. Uh, the bases for the figures are really cool. They're all interesting. Uh, you can see all the rocks and pebbles and the crevices and stuff. All that nice detail and then a fish bone. I mean, the bases are detailed, you know, but they're small. And that one just fits on there with the two studs. Now, you can't put anything on this base. It's just the base that basically tags them into the game. So, say if you wanted to put, I don't know, wanted to put, you could literally put anything. Um, I just got this mixel today, and I probably will be reviewing him. But you could basically just put them on the base like that, and it'd still show up as Gollum. So, that's cool. Um, also, here's Gollum. He's really cool with the creepy looking face. He's got like missing teeth. They're all yellowed out. He's got the short little s snout nose. He's got big, huge, creepy eyeballs and all the wrinkles on his forehead and the f floppy ears, I guess. That's what I'm going to call them. He's got like old man hair. Just little wavy lines. Um, it's weird how he's constructed. He's just this giant piece right here and then these two arms and he's holding a fish in one. Cool. And that's basically it. Oh yeah, he also has a like underwear, I guess. So, he just fits onto the base like that. This There will be three parts. Um, and then this is the spider that it comes with. This is uh, Shalab the Great. She is really cool. Um, start off with the head. Uh, the head can move up and down. And there's these two little holes for her eyes. And these are like her fangs on the side. Simple up and down. Um, the legs, the two of the legs are um, uh, reversed the other way. So, and like the rest of these legs, which come up and then down with the tooth pieces, these ones go up. They go up and up again for like the front two legs that are used for like slicing downwards, like sort of like slashing motion. So that's really neat. Oh, uh, you've got this nice back that kind of steeps backwards and then steeps up again, kind of like a nice flat uh, body. Just like a spider has. Uh, you're using this cool car piece or ATV piece for the back of him. For the back of her, sorry. And then uh, four of these uh, translucent yellow studs for the back. Um, with these bases, they don't have pictures on them. Did I spit? Sorry. Um, and these ones for the vehicles, you actually just have to put them on the base and it'll say in the game once you put the figure on, it'll start off with the build. 
Now the builds aren't actually in the instruction booklet, just the figures. It just shows you how to build these uh, guys, but not this. You have to build this in the game. So, yeah. Next one is Crager. This one's really cool. Uh, it's got the nice flame design here and here at the bottom. Uh, these are like crocodile teeth chomping down each side. And then right here is like a fire uh, cracker thing. It's really cool. The cracker minifigure is sweet. Um, here's his, his flame sword. Very cool. Um, here's Cragger himself. There's the mask. Love the design on it and the scar on one eye. It's white. Take that out so you can see. Uh, he has two faces. There's one here and then one here. And you can see some nice detail on his legs. The crocodile symbol that's on the base near his knees and then the claws um and if we take off oh yeah here's the chest armor piece with the fire emblem fire chi in it and if we take that off here's the printing very nice love the printing on lego chima uh figures uh lego chima is Probably, in my opinion, the best Lego line ever. Because it's basically mixing, like, city with animals, you know what I mean? Like, there's all these cool vehicles, and they're, like, all animal style to represent whatever animal they are. So this is the only review where I'm reviewing the figures. The rev other reviews will be on, um, like, actually, the other builds, because there's three builds for each of these vehicles. So here's Craggers. This one's by far my favorite out of all the vehicles I have. Well, besides the turret, uh, this thing's really nice. It's got uh, six teeth up the front of it, right there. And then it's got this rigid, like, snout piece, like a rock in a lime green color. Well, not a lime green, it's like an olive green. And then there's two, like, little studs for more teeth, I guess. Um, you got this nice, uh, dark green streak on each side, underneath the eyes. Um, there's an actual steering wheel. Here, it's not a steering, it's just a handle. You can actually put a cragger on it, even though it's not intentional. You can actually fit him on it, put him in. Um, and then there's like slants on the eyes right here that kind of give it like an expression. And that's another thing I like about Gina stuff. Uh, there's these flames coming off each side. Really neat. And then there's this big, huge engine on the back. Um, and there's also these binocular pieces. I don't know what they'd be used for. Maybe more, like, something to give it speed. I don't know. But I just love the design of this. Really neat. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe for more. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. And as always, I see you guys in my video. It'll probably be in like 20 minutes or so. This video won't be out by then though. But uh, yeah. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe for more. And as always, I'll see you dudes. I messed up. I'll see you dudes and girls if you're watching another video.
Peace out.